In this tutorial, I am going to talk to you a little bit about labels. And I'm going to show you an example from elementary and an example from secondary. We're going to start by taking a look at Jill Heath's course webpage. As you can see on her page, uh, she has a label at the top in this general block that says welcome to first grade at Tanglin Elementary. Then her other labels, her main labels are for the elementary level, you might consider things like classroom information, spelling lists, sharing circle lists, curriculum resources, and first grade reading websites and math websites and other curriculums. So if you're teaching elementary, what you are going to um, use each block for is totally up to you. Uh, I'm going to turn editing on here so that you can see the one unique thing that uh, Jill did with her labels is she included images on both sides of them. So in order to put your labels at the top, you will see it will, on your course page that you have this little hand. You can click on that to edit the label or to add the label for the first time. Jill, I'm not going to go into this in any greater detail because you'll learn this later in the course, but in order to get that small image in there, she used this icon on her toolbar, insert image, to do that. And she just wrote this text and then she probably uh, highlighted it and then to change the text color, she probably clicked on this particular icon on the toolbar. The hardest thing to remember is to try to get the text color the same for all of your labels, um, or if you do change the text color because you feel like you wanna do that, then make sure that the text size and, and the font is the same because you don't want too many things to change from one topic block to the other. All right, we're gonna head over here and take a look at a secondary example. This is uh, Brewski's webpage. And you can see that she named her topic outlines, which I think at the second, or her labels for her topic outline, I think this is gonna be common at secondary to have it be your unit labels. So number one, she has media literacy, scroll down. You can see that the second one is um, her book of, that they study of mice and men, and then Romeo and Juliet. Don't pay too close attention to the fact that she's got the solid gold line. You'll learn that in a different unit. That's topic blocks can be labeled. And you'll notice that um, at the top of each topic block is a little hand icon when you turn editing on that you can click on to add your label. And to use the toolbar to maybe bold it or center it, it's up to you how you want them to be organized.